Hey everyone, welcome to the Car Project's how-to video. We love this activity because there are so many variables that you can change to make your car truly unique. Here are a few examples to get those ideas flowing. And here are some of the materials you get to make it happen. Some of those variables we mentioned you can change are how many wheels you want, what size wheels, how do you want your car to be powered, and much, much more. We are gonna walk you through, step by step, just how we build one of our favorite cars. First, we want to cut our base out of the larger piece of cardboard. We then take your mouse trap, which is completely disarmed, and glue or tape it down to the base. It's very important that one side of the mouse trap lines up with the middle. Notice the orientation. The side closer to the bottom of your screen is actually the front of your mousetrap car. And we glued the mousetrap in that direction on purpose. Next, we glued four popsicle sticks underneath the car, which is where our wheels and axles will be attached to. Try your best to keep those popsicle sticks in the same direction and the same length. I know this doesn't look like much of a car yet, but we're going to attach the mousetrap to the back wheels, which is gonna spin them and propel the car forward. We went ahead and glued two straws underneath the popsicle sticks, which is what the axles of our car will spin around in. Friends, it's super, super important that these two straws are pointed in the same direction. So while that glue is drying, make sure you move it around so they're pointed in the same way. Remember that your orientation is important. Whichever side the spring of your mousetrap pulls back to, we have to pull a little trick on. Cut your straws in the back in a similar fashion as this, to where there's a space between the two prongs, and we recommend trimming the edges as well. You can leave the front side alone in between, but snip those edges as well. Next up is the wheels. In this design, we have some cool CDs that we're gonna place around our car. These little caps have holes in them that the axles stick right through. So we glue them onto our CDs and then place them on the car. Since the cap is bonded to the CD, they're essentially one part. And that way, when the dowel spins, so does the wheel. If it's giving you trouble pushing it in, Try giving it a little twist and see if that helps. But in order to really ensure the bond and make sure there's no slipping, we like to add some hot glue on the inside and outside of the wheel. Here's a close up. We can then put the wheel and axle through the straw and connect the other side. We will put some hot glue on that one as well, but make sure it's nice and straight before you do so. And now we actually have something that looks like a car. Let's grab our string and dowel so we can get it working. One of the harder parts of this project is putting your dowel on the side of the mousetrap and pulling it really tight with zip ties. Once they're all nice and snug, there shouldn't be too much wiggle room. To really make sure it's strong, put a bead of hot glue there and see how that looks. Feel free to trim down those zip ties or any of your axles that look a little bit long. Next, you want to tie your string to the top of that lever and maybe put some hot glue so it doesn't go anywhere. One more zip tie in between the two straws towards the front. Go ahead and hot glue and snip that one as well. See if you can make any kind of loop towards the other end of that string. And friends, now that you know what mechanical advantage is, here's how it's at play in the car project. The length of your lever is another piece of mechanical advantage. If it's nice and short, it'll spin your wheels fast and really quick. If your rod is longer, your wheels will spin slower, but it will be much more drawn out. And now that you also know what friction is, here's how that applies. See how the wheels spin here before the car really takes off? That's not very good. It's wasted energy and doesn't help us. We added some glue around the CDs to hopefully provide a little bit more traction for the car. 
When the top wheel is rubbing against the side, watch how quickly the wheels come to a stop. But when we put them in the middle and take that friction away, they spin for a long time. So we know that's a lot of information, friends. And if you're not trying to tackle the mousetrap car, no worries. See if the rubber band or the balloon powered cars, which are a little bit simpler, are more up your alley. For the rubber band car, put this piece of straw towards the front, which the rubber band can latch onto. Then we make a string of rubber bands and attach the back to the zip tie in between the rear wheels. And for the air powered car, fasten a balloon onto the end of a straw using a rubber band. We like to then tape or glue the straw down to the base and make sure the straw is pointed in the opposite direction from which you want to go. Well that was the tricky part, but here comes the fun part. We will see you in the next video where we're going to show you just how to test out your cars.